And and before you ask, yes, we are talking. Uh, I heard back from Boston Dynamics, and that was they're not that. They, but but I haven't heard back from Ghost yet. So yeah, it's all but else fault. Okay, how am I supposed to be saying that? How am I supposed to be saying that? Because I know that Vito is not correct. Is it? Is it? Um, is it Vita? Is it what? Vidal! Wait, that's what I was saying, isn't it? I said Vidal. Vidal? And then, and then in the YouTube comments, everybody, yeah. Oh, Vettel. Vettel, okay. Uh, yeah, you're uh, brick hard like a metal. God, this is, don't never become a VTuber. Never become a VTuber. I, I was a respectable engineer. I am a respectable engineer, as far as everyone knows. I still can't believe that I pronounced, I pronounced it as Vidal instead of Vettel, Vettel. And, 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 Vettel, and, 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 oh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my God, why am I like this? Why am I like this? Vettel, Vettel, it rhymes with metal. Neuro pronounces it as Vettel, right? Vettel? <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> I know, I know. If that's, if that's how, if that's how Neuro and, 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 Ev and Evil say it, then, then they gotta be right. Listen, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, Liddy? It's, it is a work in progress. I have emailed several of my friends some only slightly embarrassing things, and we will see what comes of it. Dog I am. <laughs> Vittle. God, one time I, I messed up my wrist playing so much Osu, and I told all my coworkers that it was a skiing accident so they would think I was cool. <laughs> I don't know how to ski. Uh, I was replacing the light fixture over my sink, and um, I the sink was uninstalled, and I was sort of leaning over it, and I was standing on a chair, and um, I fell off the chair and hit my head on the toilet so hard that it left a mark on the toilet. <laughs> I know, William, right? Uh, and then I went to the emergency room, and when they said, what's wrong, instead of saying, um, I think I have a concussion, because I don't really remember the last hour or so, and uh, I, ca I can't see correctly, uh, and I'm very dizzy, and I can't stop throwing up. Uh, what I instead told them was, I hit my head on the toilet. Uh, and then when the nurse came in, uh, he was like, oh, you're toilet girl. And I was like, that's me. That's me, sir. I'm toilet girl. <laughs> Didn't I get mono from a sandwich? Yes, I ate a sandwich out of the garbage, and I got mono, and I told my mom that it was from kissing people. Anyway, when I was diagnosed, they diagnosed me with Asperger's because I didn't talk, I refused to talk, and I kept taking my shirt off in class. You see, we had a school uniform that year. We got a school uniform that year, and I wasn't like a big fan of the shirt. It wasn't a good material. I was against it. So I would take my shirt off in class, and I would not stop even when threatened. And so eventually they were like, what kind of weird is this kid? And they decided, autism weird is this kid. And then uh, in seventh grade, they were like, actually, you're also ADHD. So I started taking meds and that helped. So I was like, I guess I'm not autistic. I guess I'm ADHD. And then I went to college and I was like, yeah, yeah. They said I wasn't autistic anymore. I was just ADHD. And then the counselors in college were like, nah, bro, you're, they didn't take that one away. They just gave you another one. So, so I did a lot of studying like how comedy worked, which in hindsight, also kind of an autism thing, it turns out. Um, normal people don't study the behavior of others and uh, write it down in a big list to understand it better. But I did. And I also read some books and I would do this thing that only kind of made me look like a serial killer where I would go to open mics and I would write down all of comedians' best jokes and I would take apart how they worked like I was diagramming a sentence to understand what parts made it funny. And this, this activity, this behavior, it doesn't actually make you funny. Funnier? Not remotely. It doesn't make you funnier. What it does do is make stand-up comics think you're gonna wear their skin. They're very afraid of you after this. They're like, oh, you're that girl with the notebook, aren't you? And you're like, yes, wanna be best friends? I formed oh, no. a parasocial relationship watching you on stage. <laughs> Am I vegetarian for religious reasons? Kind of? I don't know, man. You gotta take that up with my parents. Ask Dadbot. Ask Dadbot. I've got a lot of questions for the man who was like, I'm going to raise all of my daughters vegetarian so that they're super weird and can never enjoy chicken wings. And then the second that they are old enough to vote, I'm gonna go back to eating fancy sausages. <laughs> If I have one bone to pick with how Dadbot raised us, that is it. It is the fact that that man was like, I'm raising all of my daughters vegetarian. And then the second we all moved out, he was like, it's meat time. <laughs> meat time is meat time.